Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at inequalities. So let's look at, have a look at some inequalities. We've got a number line here and we have some inequalities to discuss. x is more than 3. That means x is any number that's bigger than 3. Okay, and we draw that on the number line like this. We draw it with a circle and a line going upwards, an arrow going upwards from there. I mean x is going up from 3. For x is less than 5, we draw that as a circle going down from 5 because it's going less than 5, so it's going down the number line. The ring shows that it cannot be exactly equal to 5 because it says less than 5. So the open ring means that it must be less than 5, cannot be equal to 5. Whereas x is more than or equal to minus 2, means that it could be minus 2, so we draw that as a full circle. And again, the line is going upwards because it's more than. Okay, so a full circle, as opposed to a ring, means that it can be equal to that number. Now finally, minus 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 0. Uh, would look like this. Uh, minus 3 there and 0 there. And we draw a line connecting them. Again, we draw an open ring because it cannot be over to minus 3, but we draw a full circle because it can be equal to 0. Okay. So, for example, show the following inequalities on the number line. We've got uh, 2x is less than 3, and we're going to focus on that one first. And we start by rearranging the inequality. We start by dividing both sides by 2, as we would with an algebraic equation and we get x is less than 3 halves. Again, we divide it by 2 because the opposite of times by 2 is divide by 2. And 3 halves is the same as 1.5. So this uh, inequality has become x is less than 1.5. And that's what we plot on our uh, number line. We draw an open circle at 1.5. 1.5 1 is between 1 and 2. And we draw a line going downwards. And that's it. Now minus three, uh, sorry, minus five is less than or equal to three x plus one is less than ten. We start by minusing one from all sides of the equation. And when I say all sides, I mean the left, the middle, and the uh, right. So all parts of that inequality. Uh, minus five minus one is minus six. Three x plus one minus one is three x, and ten minus one is nine. Okay. Now it says 3 times x in the middle, so we need to get rid of that. We'll divide by 3. We'll divide by 3, all uh, minus 6, 3x and 9. Minus 6 divided by 3 is minus 2. 3x divided by 3 is x. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. We finally get minus 2 is less than or equal to x is less than 3. Which on the number line will look like this. Okay. Again, the minus 2 can be equal to x, so we draw that as a full circle. Finally, minus 1 is less than x divided by 2 plus 3, which is less than or equal to 0. Okay, we start by subtracting 3 from all three sides. Minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. x over 2 plus 3 minus 3 is x over 2. And 0 minus 3 is minus 3. Finally, we multiply everything by 2 to get rid of the divide by 2. And we get minus 8 is less than x is less than or equal to minus 6. On a number line, that would look like this. A good tip uh, to help make sure you're doing this correct is to check your answer. You check your answer by choosing a number inside the inequality and making sure it satisfies the original inequality. So here I'm going to choose uh, x equals minus 7. I'm going to see if that works with the original inequality. If it does, I know I've done it correct. So x is minus 7, and we're going to substitute that into the original inequality. Like this. Minus 1 is less than minus 7 over 2 plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Does it work? Well, minus 7 divided by 2 is minus 3.5. Minus 3.5 plus 3 is minus 0 0.5. And indeed, minus 1 is less than minus 0 0.5, which is less than or equal to 0. And if you thought about that on the number line, you would see that in, that indeed makes sense. If it doesn't make sense when you simplify it, you know you've probably made a mistake. 
Finally, let's look at a harder case. So here we've got 10 minus 3x is less than or equal to minus 2. And we're going to rearrange this. We're going to sub uh, subtract 10 off both sides. And we get minus 3x is less than or equal to minus 12. Now, uh, we've got minus 3 times x. So we're going to divide by minus 3. So we divide both sides by minus 3. But, here's a trick. If you divide by a negative, you need to swap the sides of the inequality. Because dividing by a negative uh, changes the direction of the numbers. And so you have to change the direction of the inequality as well. And so here, when we divided by a negative, divided by minus 3, we needed to swap the direction of the inequality sign. So the final answer is x is more than or equal to 4. Again, just notice the inequality sign has swapped directions when we divided by a negative. That's the same for if you div uh, multiply by a negative as well. And so finally, the inequality is given by x is more than or equal to 4, which is this on the number line. Okay? Right, that is all of the uh, examples, uh, but we need to just check our answer first. So we're going to uh, choose x equals 6, because that's inside our inequality bound. And we're going to put it into the original equation. x equals 6, and we put it into the equation 10 minus 3 times 6, which is 10 minus 18, which is 10 minus 18 is minus 8 which is indeed less than or equal to minus 2. And it does appear to work. So uh, we've checked out work and it all works out. Now, uh, some practice questions for you to try here. And I'd like you to draw the top four on a number line and just make sure you're drawing that correctly. Then I'd like to solve the uh, inequalities at the bottom algebraically. So rearrange those equations step by step algebraically and make sure you get the right answer. Once you have uh, worked out your answers, check uh, your uh, answers make sense by selecting a number uh, in your final answer and putting it back into uh, your original equation, as we did with those examples, to check them. Okay, I'll reveal the answers when you're ready in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments how well you did. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming every week. So you remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, we have new videos coming every week and I look forward to seeing you in those next future videos. Good luck in your exams and bye for now.